Hey everyone, happy Tea Tuesday. I'm doing a collab today. Come and see what we're doing. We are falling into Dollar Tree. Well, I'm so glad you're joining me today. Welcome to my home. Thanks for inviting me in your home. So go, go and grab your tea. Go get a cup of tea. We're gonna sit and chat. We're gonna chat about Dollar Tree. So let me show you real quick what I have here on my table and then I will show you, let me bring you down here. So I have my beautiful vintage teapot. I have my teacup. I've got some Earl Grey, uh, no, Lady Grey, Lady Grey tea in a vintage tin. So I love keeping it. I actually have the real McCoy in here. So I enjoy that. And I just have a lovely tablescape. You saw this tray that I got at the dollar. Uh, where did I get this? Goodwill. Got this at the Goodwill. Nice centerpiece some pumpkins from the Dollar Tree. We're going to enjoy a cup of tea together. So I'll show you again a few of the things that I have. I have my lovely teapot with me, and then I have my lovely teacup. They're not exactly the same pattern, but they were close enough. And when you're buying vintage and you're buying thrift shop and you're buying that type of thing, you, you can't always get a perfect match. My daughter-in-law bought me this beautiful tin, Lady Grey, her and I share the same love for this tea and i got that as a christmas present last year and then i put my lady gray tea bags in there if you haven't had lady gray it's oh so good then i have my tray that i'm using to put my teacup on that i got at the goodwill that i absolutely love and then i have my beautiful flower arrangement that i told you i keep up year round this one brings me joy I picked that up at a thrift shop out in Pennsylvania. Now, what are we talking about today? We're falling into, excuse me while I move my tea around here so I can enjoy that. We're falling into Dollar Tree. Last video, I showed you how I got some home decor on a budget at a thrift shop. So I don't know about you, I like to decorate seasonally, as you can tell. We will put up by Labor Day, we will have all of our fall decor up and I'll have to give you, if you want, give me a thumbs up if you'd like to see a tour of my home with the fall decor that I do put up. But that's just me. I grew up with a mama that just loved to decorate for every season. No matter what the season was, we had Valentine's Day, we had St. Patrick's Day, we had Easter, 4th of July, Memorial Day, Christmas, uh, fall, fall, you know, everything from the apples, we converted it to fall leaves to pumpkins. We didn't really do Halloween, but you know, we added the fall decor into that. And it's just, and even winter, we did snowflakes and snowmen. And my mom just enjoyed that seasonal look. And my dad would come home always expecting it. So I was raised that way. I did it. And my kids, even when they were younger, they'd say, mom, there's no decorations up for, and they'd mention the holiday if I was kind of running behind time. So this year I decided I'm going to decorate early. I have started putting some fall decor up. I did get a few pieces the other day and I'll show you these again. I got these three from the Dollar Tree. They don't necessarily all match. They're not matchy matchy, but I do really like them. This one is thankful and blessed with the blue plaid. This one is hello fall with the bold orange um, plaid, almost like a, a buffalo pattern. And then this is Fall Vibes. I think this one's my favorite. This one or the blue one? I tend to go with plaids or tartans because I'm Scottish and we like our tartans. But you know what? How many of you want to do maybe a fall decor? I don't know where you're at in life. Maybe you're down in the dumps right now. Maybe you got the blues. Maybe life is just not what you expected. Maybe you just need a smile and sometimes putting something as simple as this on your table just to brighten your morning when you come out and have your coffee or your tea can make a huge difference. But you know what? We're all on a budget. You can spend $1.25 and get one or two items, decorate a table or, you know, an end table or any spot in your home that you just want to make it special. Listen, even if you live in a one room apartment or you rent a room, you don't need a big fancy home to make it your home and to make it special just for you. So I'm gonna show you what I got at the Dollar Tree and we're gonna fall right into Dollar Tree with our fall decor and feeling those fall vibes. And just like this says, we're gonna get into the fall vibes. We're gonna decorate and let me show you what I'm gonna use to help decorate and enhance 
the decorations I already have that I need to pull out of my basement. Okay, so when you decorate your home, a couple of thoughts, a couple of tips that I use. It's about the visual things that you see. It's about the scents and the smells. It's about the foods, the taste, the whole atmosphere. It's not any holiday. You know, if you're baking holiday cookies, it adds to the everything. So when you're thinking of like, how can I enhance things in my home? How can I decorate cheap? But how can I, you know, make it really a nice home setting? So I picked these up. They're nice and soft, very soft. And they're plaid and they have an orange, a black, a little bit of a navy and a cream color in it. I don't know if you're catching all those colors, but I'm going to add these two. I have a, let's see if I can show you over here. See this right here? You can see some of the things I need to show you on my Aldi haul, but right here, let me just bring you down a little bit here. Hold on. Right here. This is what I want to decorate. And I want to do this as a tablescape. We picked this up at a yard sale for, I think, $3. And I want to do a tablescape there. So I picked up these lovely flowers here. So we're going to be putting something like that in there. I picked up these here as well. Just some little, I don't even, prickly things. I don't know what they really are. This is not the perfect scape here. But I'm going to be doing this with some greenery. And then maybe also putting a pumpkin in there as well. So when you're doing your decorating... Think of things that you can do. Now, here's another thing. You might not, you go, oh, what do you do with all this stuff? I don't have a place to store it. Okay, I spent $1.25 on this nice arrangement here. If I put this up in August, I have August, September, October, and November. That's four months for $1.25. So what does that come out to? Like 35 cents a month. That's less than a postage stamp. If I, I look at it that way. So at the end of the four months, I spent 35 cents a month on this little doohickey here. Even if I spent $10 and I spent like $2.25 a month decorating my home on the cheap at the Dollar Tree, I can always package this stuff up in a nice bag and bring it over to the thrift store and let them put it out for sale and someone else can use it. That's what I do with a lot of the decor of things that, you know, like these pumpkins I really like. I might keep them, I might not, I don't know or pass them along to a friend that maybe is looking to enhance their stockpile of fall decorations for next year. This is another one I got. This has feathers in it and it's wispy. I like that. We're gonna be adding that in there. So eventually you'll see that on my table and you'll get to see that. Okay, another thing I picked up were just these little, they're burlap flowers. I'd like to add those to some of my flower pots and things I have in the house. Burlap, I just love. And you could add that to anything in your home, again, just to enhance. And burlap, it's kind of that texture, you know, vibe of, ooh, kind of fall feel. Now, maybe you don't think fall, but if you add that with fall colors, all of a sudden it all kind of melts together. Another thing I picked up, I don't need, I will tell you, no, do I need fall decorations? No, I have plenty but I every year like to get something a little different and then I can change it up. This is welcome, gather together. And really it's, you could make this, if you have a Cricut, you can do this. But for $1.25, it wasn't worth me doing it. It's a pumpkin, it's square, it's not orange. Is it a real pumpkin look? No, I really like it though. I thought it was very farmhouse country. I thought it was cute. It's got the little ribbon on the top and I could add maybe some of these to it and make it look a little bit nicer. But again, you only have a few pennies in your pocket. You could put this on the table and put this on the table and then maybe even grab this here and just, you know, put this next to it and put this on your table, get the tag out of there and look how cute that could look on your table just to dress it up. You know, you might say, well, I don't have a family, Lynn. I don't need to do all this. Yes, you do need to do this. You need to do this for you. I'm a big advocate when things with things like that family of one or family of more you deserve to have a home that you feel like is a haven and you feel that is special and when you come home after a hard day at work or you wake up in the morning and you're retired and you're home and you're thinking ah, should I shouldn't I yes you should now I'm going to show you a couple other things that are not necessarily fall decor 
but it's going to get us in the mood of fall fun and fall vibes. So I picked this up, apple cinnamon spray. Another couple things, and again, they're not fall decor, but they're going to make your home special for the fall. So this one is vanilla bean. So this one could be great. It's a candle, just a small one. This could be great for vanilla bean year round, but definitely in the fall into Christmas. And it's by the Wizard brand. Up another one by Wizard, apple cinnamon. And they have a little star on the top so you can do the sniff test. This one I really, really like. I had an apple cinnamon from the other brand, which I thought was great, but then I smelled this one. I was like, oh, I'm getting this. And it's not very big, so that'll last a holiday season. Again, you know what? If you don't want to store this stuff, you'd get a holiday season. It's red, and then you've got orange-ish, but you could really put a green with this and then have great colors for the holiday after the fall season as well if you didn't use them up. And then if you don't want the glass jars, just put them in the thrift shop. Somebody will recycle them. Another thing I picked up were the wax warmers, and this one is uh, Bartlett Pear Cider and Harvest Berry. And I picked these up. Dollar Tree. I don't know if they're any good. They smelled great. They both smelled really good. Two other things I'm going to show you. And I want you to think out of the box. Okay, fall decor is not all about decorating your home. Like I said, it's the scents, it's the smells, it's the taste, it's the atmosphere. Cast iron cooking. Now picture a nice fall delicious dinner. Maybe like maple glazed chicken or something like that. Are you into cast iron cooking? I have two cast iron pots and I'm just now, for the added health benefits, looking into doing more and more cast iron only cooking. And I could put that on the Blackstone, but $1.25 for this magazine. I'd use it for the season, pass it along to a friend, you know, bring it to the doctor's office, leave it for someone else to read, all those good things. You didn't break the bank. This other one is sweets and treats. 44 keepsake recipes with helpful hints, tips, and tricks. $1.25, guys. You know what? Who doesn't enjoy? Here's an almond and pear. Little treat here. Look at this. Great picture recipes here. Holidays are coming up. We're going to need some things in the home. So I did mention I'm doing a collaboration. I'm doing a collaboration with my friend, Tammy. Tammy and I go way back. Now we go back a few years that we've gotten to know each other on YouTube. Her channel name is Take Me to Tammy's House. And Tammy last week, and I'm gonna link that video in the description below, did Tammy's Tea Tuesday and all about her tea and her Dollar Tree haul. And I fell in love with how she did it. So I asked her, could I piggyback? Could I steal your idea? And she said, absolutely. So we're collabing today. So she's having a tea party over at her channel. And I want you to check her out. Her video came up earlier than mine. So I'm going to put that second video as well. I'll have two of Tammy's videos in my description below. And I'll also put them on my community page. Tammy's a sweet, wonderful lady. We always joke that one day we're going to get together and thrift. We've never met in person, but I feel like she's a good friend of mine. So hello, Tammy. Happy fall to you. I can't wait to watch your video on your Tammy's Tea Tuesday. Welcome to my Tea Tuesday in my home. Go and check out Tammy's channel. Take me to Tammy's house. She's a wonderful lady. She does great thrift shop hauls, Walmart hauls, um, like thrifts and yard sales and things like that, and Dollar Tree. She's got some great ideas. She's a, a wonderful woman that loves the Lord. She loves her grandchildren. She loves her family. And she's just cool. You're going to love her. So go over and visit her on her channel. Thanks for joining me today. We'll catch you all on the next video.